You got one? <laughs> we sneak there, go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, we found Monticola! <laughs> We're deep in the Atlas Mountains on the lookout for one special little snake. We're here to find a Moroccan endemic, the Atlas Mountain Viper, one of the rarest snakes you can get in Northern Africa. Now, this is the habitat that this snake species actually prefers. So it really loves all of these outcrops, these rocky outcrops, these rocky crevices. There's a lot of geckos in between these cracks, a lot of lizards, a lot of skinks primary prey items for this species and it also likes to hide underneath and between these bushes and shrubs uh, to hide from potential predators and stuff or to hide from very harsh sunlight and right now it's actually a really nice sunlight it's a bit cold still it's a bit cool so I'm pretty hopeful we're gonna find something cool here on this slope This species lives on high elevations, ranging from 1,200 meters up to 4,000 meters above sea level. These unforgiving landscapes might seem unsuitable for many animals, but it is a perfect home to this peculiar species. Finding these snakes is incredibly difficult, and also, as you can see, quite uh, treacherous. We've been uh, looking for hours now, during the morning and the part of the afternoon, but there's absolutely no activity whatsoever. It's actually not that hot either, and for them it should be fine. So uh, we'll keep looking and maybe we have another day tomorrow, so maybe we can, maybe we can come back and uh, have another look. But look at this. Look at how beautiful it is here. Not finding any snakes, but at least we're in really, really, really beautiful habitat for them. You got one? Huh? There's a snake there, guys. <laughs> There's a snake there. Go, 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 go. In flying bait. Alles okay. Langsam. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, nice. Guys, we found Monticola. <laughs> Guys, we did it. We found it. We found the Atlas Mountain Viper, Vipera monticola. After hours and hours of looking, flipping rocks and looking into bushes, we finally got this beautiful, beautiful female. Now, what's so special about this little snake is that it's one of the rarest snakes in Morocco and it's the only member of its genus here in Africa. That being said, it's even the smallest member of its genus all over. This is the smallest Viperia you're going to get. What a beautiful snake, super rare, and we're super happy we got to see this beautiful female. Short, stout and small, adult Atlas Vipers rarely exceed 40 centimeters in length, while newborn babies barely reach even 13 centimeters. Its broad triangular head houses long retractable fangs capable of delivering a potent venom. Their tails are often bright yellow in color, 
While laying in ambush, they wiggle this tail around, mimicking the movements of a worm or insect larva, a technique called caudal luring. This worm-like tail attracts their favorite prey, lizards. Its body is adorned with intricate zigzag patterns, blending seamlessly into the rocky terrain. Second one. Ooh, that's cool. Nicely done, man. Nicely done, Stefan. That's amazing. Second monticola and also a female. Right next to the, well, basically right next to where we found the other female. The Atlas Viper is a solitary and elusive creature, spending its days within the shadows of rocky crevices on steep alpine slopes. Preferring to remain mostly hidden, it emerges to bask in the sun during cooler days and is mostly seen active during spring and summer, when prey is more abundant. These snakes primarily feed on the Atlas day geckos, skinks and lizards that call these slopes their homes. When available, they'll also feed on small birds and small mammals. Like many vipers, Vipera monticola can live up to more than a decade in the wild. However, these snakes live in very harsh conditions and their lifespan is heavily influenced by environmental pressures, such as drought and extreme temperatures, but also by the availability of prey and predation. Oh, another one, another one here, guys. Yeah, another one. I was just filming this gecko and it's moving around the rocks. It's a male. I don't have my uh, gloves with me. Here it is. Oh, awesome. I was just filming this gecko right here. Yeah, yeah, we got him. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking awesome. Uh, I think that's a one. male, right? Is it? Or no, it's a, oh, it's a, again a female. It's yeah, I think it was, was grabbed recently. Probably. So it uh, gave birth recently, probably. That's cool. Can you give life birth? Oh, the third one. The third one. One that's epic, that's so epic. And Carl got the fourth one of the day. Nice job, man. <laughs> it was incredible seeing this species in the wild, let alone find four of them. Goes to show it's all about being in the right place at the right time. After looking for hours, all of a sudden, in the late afternoon, they popped up one after the other. If you liked this video, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.